We almost let one of the most important and popular packages in the Go ecosystem die. Yo, what's up? I'm Melky, and I'm a software engineer at Twitch. And today I'm going to bring you some content that you guys have been asking for some more Go content. And like a good content creator, I hear you and I will deliver. And today we're going to talk about how the great Go community almost let one of its most important packages just die. And the package that I'm obviously talking about, well, it's not really a package, but it's Gorilla Toolkit. There's Gorilla Sessions, Gorilla WebSock, Gorilla Secure Cookie, but the one that you have most probably heard of and used is Gorilla Mux. Mux was the de facto package for implementing HTTP routes in Go. With 18,000 stars on GitHub, it was one of the most popular open source projects in the Go ecosystem. And the reason why a lot of people chose Gorilla Mux over all the other options because it stayed closest to the standard library, which is why we love Go so much. So then what happened? Well, it wasn't that the package was bad. It wasn't that there was a security flaw or anything inherently bad about the code itself. There wasn't a new major version update of Go or minor version update that kind of made it useless or unusable or anything like that. And it also wasn't the fact that people just stopped using it. I mean, look at the GitHub stars. It was still accumulating stars at a very steady rate. And the total number of imports was super healthy too. Well, according to the actual maintainers of the project, they just couldn't find time to allocate to it. The original author maintainer, Marias, had moved on long time ago. Kasilik and Gary Bird had the longest run in maintaining a mix of the HTTP libraries and Gorilla WebSocket respectfully. I, Elithrar, got involved sometime in 2014 or so when I noticed Kasilik doing a lot of heavy lifting and wanted to help contribute back to the libraries I was using for a number of personal projects. Since about 2018 or so, I was mostly the sole maintainer of everything but WebSocket. They say they really tried to find good maintainers to take over this entire suite of tools. I just want to remind you guys, this isn't just one repository. This is a whole collection accumulating to almost close to 30,000 GitHub stars total. I don't blame them in being super picky. Like I said, this wasn't just one repository. It wasn't just one tool. It wasn't anything small. This was a major core library and a core suite of tools that are very popular and go one-to-one -one with Go. They probably had hundreds of people applied, ping them, DM them saying, hey, I can handle this or teams of people asking them for those projects. And they probably just didn't feel they were doing it for the right reasons or had the skills to properly maintain them. I mean, who wouldn't want to add to their resume that they are the maintainer of Gorilla Mux? I mean, it's such a good thing to have. But when this happened, all the non-gophers, the haters, the Rust developers came in and just had a field day. How could the Go community let this project die? Why did anyone step up to take it? This is why I don't use Go. And yeah, it wasn't really the best look for the Go community having Gorilla Mux and the Gorilla Tools kind of go get archived seemingly out of nowhere. But then something happened. Something actually recent happened. In early July of 2023, the Gorilla Web Toolkit posted this announcement on their GitHub page. We we're going to wait until the transition was complete to make an announcement, but it seems the cat is out of the bag. We're excited to confirm that the Gorilla Web Toolkit project has a new group of core maintainers. Yay. But there you have it. Our saviors, Gorilla Mux is back. And it's all thanks to Red Hat. Of course, there were always alternatives to Gorilla Mux. Some really good ones, but people were still very upset. Blaming the maintainers, the community themselves, everyone around them, their family, their dog, their hamster, their pet goldfish, everyone. How could something like this happen? And all I want to say is that, well, this happens all the time. Just look at Null LS for new of them. I mean, just last week, the core maintainer said that they are archiving the repository. And the reason? 
They're just not using Neo Vim anymore. People move on, they do different things, and a project that they were really excited for a year ago and had so much hype, well, it just doesn't do it for their new interest or their new perspective on what they want to focus on. People sometimes forget a very core principle of any software, which I've actually learned from the pragmatic programmer, and that's all code is essentially garbage code, which means all code is going to get rewritten one time or another. Someone or some team is going to combine their efforts and create something better or modify an existing code or just completely rewrite or completely find a new way of doing a core functionality that's just better and it leaves the older existing code, well, obsolete. There will even be a day where React will no longer be supported and eventually be deprecated. But that is what makes building and working with software so interesting and fun. There's going to be new things. There's going to be new things to learn, new things to use, new ways of doing old things, which is faster or more efficient. And you can either be along with the ride and let it carry you to new heights, or you can try and resist it and stomp your feet and yell and cry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. a little bit of go here and there. And I have a thing to say, if you haven't, go use Gorilla Mux. Go use one of the Gorilla Toolkits if you have it. If you have always been trying to use Go, but you haven't found the time to do it, well, go. Use one of the tools that implement a brand new project. Or if you've used Go and you've used some of the Gorilla Toolkits, use a different one. I challenge you. And come back to this video and tell me in the comment section below, what it is you implemented. But as always, I gotta leave you with two things. One, go use Go. You see what I did there? Go use Go, it's good, go. It's awesome, don't just do it. And two, you gotta power it.